Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Hi, folks. Basil Chapman for the 9 a.m. Uh, Tiger Financial News Network market update. Dow futures up 236. What's really important is at some point in the next uh, two days, uh, by Friday, if there is a break into the 34,490s, and the futures are now 34,368, that would be really good action. But if there's a failure later today and all of a sudden you give him back, like yesterday, we gave back quite a chunk of the gains. The futures are saying right now up to 240. If there's only a plus 110 or a plus 90 after 130, it says, oops, another day that it could start to see a market pull back. But I have in the show that I did just a few minutes ago, which is my target technicians hour, I did it earlier because I can't be at 10. It'll be replayed. I discussed how the unbalanced volume, you can see right here, there's a little V-shaped pattern in the daily chart of the Dow and in all the different indices you've got a little v-shaped bottom that's been important for lows so we don't know if this is going to be a, a, a serious low or whether it's just a bounce so let's just go on the e-mini S&P right now is up uh, 22.75 hit the 14 period exponential moving average it needs to get to at 44.07 it needs to get to the 44.38 area by Friday, maybe Monday, and that'll be really positive if it starts to fail here. Watching this closely, NQ, this is the NDX 100 trading vehicle, the NASDAQ 100 continuous contract, given back a chunk of the gains earlier on. It's up 43. This is, put, for me, part of the clue of the reason why we, we, we are being short. We're going to try to remain short for my Tiger Tech, for my opening call subscribers. We'll see what happens next. RTY, which is the uh, small caps, up 17 at 2232. We're going to be watching this because intraday, at a night, as early this morning, the futures is a big spike. If they pull back and they start to trade over uh, under 2200, that's a problem. But if they go over 2252, um, that's excellent action. Looking at bonds real quickly, you got the TLT had a spectacular session yesterday, down a dollar 63 today at 150.16. That is leg D in the Chapman Wave methodology. You can pull back from peak D. You got to watch that closely. Looking at crude oil and crude oil right now is trading um, up a little bit. And gold. Let me see where gold is. Uh, gold is down 17 at 17.61. It's having a little problem there. So have a great day. Stay tuned for Tommy O'Brien. This is going to be the uh, market kickoff show. Fabulous show as always. And they'll be programming all the day. All day. Stay tuned to TFNN. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you tomorrow at my regular time, 10 a.m. As a chat.